SQLite is a free open source database that operates without requiring a separate server. Popular applications, including Firefox, Chrome, and countless mobile apps, depend on SQLite for efficient local data storage. Remarkably, over 1 trillion SQLite databases are currently in active use worldwide, powering everything from web browsers and smartphones to automotive systems and embedded devices, making it the most widely deployed database engine on the planet. In this video, we will build a SQLite MCP server using Python to give Cloud Desktop the tools to query a SQLite database on your behalf. Now to get started, in your project directory, launch a terminal. Run the command to install MCP and SQL Alchemy Python libraries. In the project directory, create a folder called Tools. Inside the Tools directory, create a Python file called SQLiteTools.py. This will be the module with the SQLite tool functions. In the SQLite module, import the required Python dependencies. Then create a class called SQLite tool with a required parameter to define the database file path in the init method. In the init method, create a DB engine using the create engine function. For the SQLite MCP server, I created three methods to manage SQLite database. The first method is the list tables method, which returns the tables available. The describe table method will take the table name as argument and return the table's metadata. And finally, we have the run SQL query method, in which Claude will generate a SQL statement and use the function to run the query. Now in the project directory, create a Python file called mcpsqlite.py. Inside the script, import the required Python libraries. Set up the MCP server, create a SQLite tool object, and add the methods to the MCP server as tool functions. To add the MCP server to Cloud Desktop, on your terminal, run the command mcp install mcpsqlite.py. Once the MCP server is added to Cloud Desktop, you should see the message successfully installed SQLite in Cloud App. Now restart your Cloud Desktop application. If you set up everything correctly, on the available MCP tools, you should now see the three SQLite tool functions. To test the SQLite MCP server, in the prompt I will say, list the tables in my SQLite database. And Cloud will recognize that the test is related to the SQLite database operations and choose one of the SQLite DB tools to perform the task. Then we can have Cloud to describe one of the tables to return the metadata. And finally, I will ask Cloud to return the US customer list and Cloud will construct the SQL statement and use the run SQL query function to return the result. To eliminate the need to manually instruct Cloud to list the tables, get table metadata, then run the SQL query. I would recommend you create a project with a system prompt to define the instructions first. And that concludes this SQLite MCP server development for Cloud Desktop tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. If you are a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And if there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you'd like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.